this is your first time, I'm Kyle, one half of The Wandering Shores. So, today's episode, if you're checking back, this is actually the third installment on our Starlink update. So, we have had it for approximately a month and wanted to take a few shots and kind of give you an update on how things have been working. We're still here in Arizona, but we're leaving tomorrow morning. So, the first half of this is going to be about uh, updating on how things have been for the last month. And the rest of it is going to be on moving our location, seeing if we're able to find an area over in Tucson where we're headed to move our uh, official service address and if not um, we'll go from there so things have been working fabulous honestly here um, at our, our our first location so one thing we have had to do is the back order um, with Starlink to get the pole adapter um, basically is going to prevent it from getting to us before we head out of here well obviously tomorrow so uh, we ended up canceling that we're having it shipped to another location hopefully by the end of March it will get there and then we'll have the pole adapter so that we can mount back here on the uh, the flagpole that we have but uh, until then, we've just been using our ground mount, mount. We had it up on the roof, as you guys saw in video number two. Um, but now, um, it's been really windy out here a few days, uh, 50 mile an hour winds um, potentially. So I brought it down. It hadn't actually moved. Um, I was actually quite surprised. It didn't move in all the, the real tough winds. But uh, I did bring it down and put it on the ground. So we've had it here by our RV for probably the last week or so. It's just been mounted on our, our little stand I built. Let me give you a zoom in on that. But yeah, it's been working great. Um, you know, 150 to 300 megabyte downloads, um, uploads somewhere between 15 and, and 25 on an average. Um, had really very few service interruptions. Um, and if there are some, they're like for two or three seconds. So it's it's been working perfectly. Now, fingers crossed, we're gonna be moving tomorrow. So. That's why you're probably here checking out to see how it went. So I'll keep you updated. I'm gonna show you uh, here in the video how I go about changing the service address and letting you know if I'm able to find a service address over near the, uh, the, the fairgrounds where we're headed over in Tucson. Good evening from Tucson. Hey, I um, wanted to follow up and kind of finish off this video regarding our Starlink. So lots has changed actually, and I uh, wanted to kind of give you an update. Um, probably what you've seen just before this segment was me trying to move my location last evening from over near Yuma over to the Tucson area. Uh, was running into a lot of problems. All the sites or all the cells said that they were full and I couldn't move my location. Um, I spent probably an hour trying to go all around the outside of the area where we're here at the uh, county fairgrounds with no, absolutely no luck. So, um, reached out to a guy that I knew was already over here. He said he had found a site um, that had an open cell that was probably about 10, 15 miles away and that's what he had done. But uh, he told me that he originally was going to try a site out in Benson, Arizona and that's end up what I did. I found a site eventually, um, a cell that had an opening, it was about 20 miles away. So fast forward, we drove five miles, or five hours to get here today and when I turned on the Starlink, it connected right away. Um, went in and saw that we were getting normal speeds um, even though my service address was 20 miles away. I looked through the debugging data, which will tell you kind of what's going on with the, uh, with the Starlink, and it said unexpected location false and roaming true. Well, after doing a little research, turns out last night somehow for hundreds and hundreds of Starlink users, they turned on roaming. So. There are folks reporting that they have connection even though their service address is you know, 50 miles away. There's one guy has service. Uh, one of our good friends here, um, he got the Starlink the same time we did. His uh, service address is still back in Yuma, 250 miles away, and he connected right away. So it's a game changer, folks. Um, if this is the way it's going to go, you're basically gonna be able to find a home address that you can use for your service and then you can just move around and as long as there is satellite coverage you're going to be able to uh, to use your Starlink at least that's what it's looking like right now so yeah we're getting like 300 down and 27 up I think uh, here in the Tucson area and all these cells were full uh, last night so uh, roaming roaming is turned on at least on my 
uh, device and from what I'm seeing in some of the Facebook groups we're in some of those too so thanks again uh, we'll keep you updated I'm going to add this video to our uh, Starlink um, playlist and we will periodically update you on uh, our experience as we go around the rest of this country thanks again and please subscribe like this video and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when we put out new videos. Thanks, guys.